It's Dan. Land House. High resolution. Our main guy. There are a few things that I did notice that you have. Yeah, more. Yeah, so well. Yeah, we have the songs. So it, it recognizes you, uh, uh, puts, uh, it has a face detect uh, uh, software running in it. Yeah, and, I can see that. And then uh, <laughs> basically recognizes uh, you as a male or female depending on like, uh, the gender. And then it puts the ad which is relevant uh, for that particular gender. So maybe if you just walk in here, that probably would help to explain right. the demo. Okay. Uh, in front of the camera. Uh, There's yeah. a one. Ah. You just, just, no, no, he was just this one. This yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, just just oh. Okay. Don't forget to smile. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, now the, 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 there are multiple people, so it found that it is like different, different. It's, it's, it's switching back and forth because it's like it's yeah, That was the one I saw. Yeah. That one. So there's like. And then there's like if there's multiple people, then it shows. Like the family one. Oh, that's all okay. kind of beach. Yeah, this is the one that I saw. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I've always noticed, um, you know, just looking at benchmarks and studying sites. On this device. So, this okay. device has created a Wi Fi yeah. hotspot, uh, hotspot yeah. if you will. I made sure I'm connected to it. Mm -hmm. Then I came out, and there's a app there called Bubble UPNP. Okay. I went in there, it gives me my library of different videos yeah. and I'm currently playing this one so now I, I just clicked on it so it's gonna restart that video very very cool so is it possible to actually show the home screen or to use an app would you PMP be able to do that or is it so, just for video playing it's just for video playing okay, so okay. right now that's what the app is the app is only allowing us to play stuff that's whether it's a video or some kind of presentation if it's a slideshow photos and so forth Stuff. That's okay. I mean, those are probably the most common use case scenario. Mm -hmm. Even though I think being able to access, you know, maybe a calendar or you know, a spreadsheet or something like that. Would be yeah, cool. being able to mirror the device yeah. is is evolving. I think we're able to do that over cables right now and yeah. several different accessory products. This one is the first of its kind that's actually streaming or playing content mm -hmm. uh, over Wi-Fi. I quite a good picture actually. And the, this product itself, you mentioned the resolution was 854 by... 850 by, by 480. Excuse so 854 yeah. by 480. By nine ratio, right? And the best way to think about it is it, it's equivalent to DVD quality. So yeah. growing up, your DVD quality image, mm -hmm. that's what you're getting on this. And that's a 30 lumens product? Yeah, it's roughly 35 lumens. 35 lumens, eh? yeah. And around two hours battery life or so? You get up to two hours. Okay. Very, very cool. And obviously that contains TI's DLP technology inside. It contains DLP Pico by Texas Instruments. That's okay. right. Yeah. Very, very nice. So people will probably expect to see more things of this nature in the future. That's exactly right. So this one should be launched uh, sometime in the first quarter. Okay. Uh, it should be in a retail price somewhere under $200. Oh, wow. That's great. And uh, we'll definitely start seeing more of this type of product. Mm -hmm. uh, in the next year. And how much uh, progress have you made? I know it requires really deep integration to be able to uh, project, you know, a home screen, you know, in terms mm -hmm. of what Android is. Mm -hmm. How much progress have you made, uh, you know, mirroring that uh, so it can display? Well, our, our customers are making a lot of progress on a regular basis on that. So, yeah. um, especially if, if you look at, for example, the iPhone sleeves that are out, mm -hmm. uh, you see multiple brands that have those today. Mm -hmm. Those are all mirroring the, yes. the image. <clears throat> Uh, there are several companies looking at doing the same with the iPhone 5. Yeah. There's also, what, you're, what you'll find is uh, companies are starting to now look at doing the same with Android. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a lot of uh, traction with products that are going to come out in the near future mm -hmm. that are going to attach to Android and it's going to mirror the image. Okay, very good. Uh, whether it's Wi-Fi or yeah. connected when you're, when you're slipping on the, the case. Yeah. Right. The key is making it seamless, and we think yes. if, if it's a case that you're going to use anyways to, con to, to protect your phone, mm -hmm. then you should be able to... Uh, you can even put a little battery in there for some extra juice on the exactly. go. Exactly. Like you've done that with the iPhone I saw. That's right. Computex. Exactly right. But Frank had mentioned something that was really exciting, and he said that you've been able to reduce the footprint of the DLP chip itself. That's right. And be able to pack more pixels into that. That's right. And it has a lower pa power envelope. That's right. So, can you speak about that a little bit? Yeah, sure. So, uh, we just announced, uh, what, Monday, mm -hmm. our, our latest uh, Pixel, new Pixel architecture. 
that yeah. we're already working with manufacturers on. It reduces our power significantly so that customers can get to a, a much higher battery life okay. with higher lumens. Mm -hmm. So it also has a uh, an architecture or design, if you will, yes. as far as the tilt and roll yes, nature of the way, that, the way that the way that the mirrors uh, uh, turn on and off mm -hmm. is is designed in such a way that you can get more efficient light okay. coming and, and getting onto the screen. So on top of that, uh, we made the, the the architecture smaller in such a way that you can up to double get up to double the resolution in the same equivalent package okay. that so you have we today. We look at an existing product like the Samsung Galaxy Beam, and that's a W, actually, I know, it's an NVGA? It's an NHD, so that one NHD. is 640 by 360. 640, so... So, for example, as an example, with that product, you're getting somewhere in the 200,000 pixel range. Yeah. So you'd be able to theoretically get up to 400,000 pixels or more on the same on that size. same size package, so you'd be able to pack in a lot more resolution in that small mobile. I guess device. that theoretically that would be able to do 720p. Then true, realize 720p if it was double. Theoretically, yes. Theoretically, theoretically, yes. So uh, we're working with our customers mm -hmm. on getting these this new pixel architecture into their next gen products mm -hmm. today. Uh, I think that at the earliest we'll see some products by the end of this year the that have the new the new pixel architecture in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and on top of all that, um, obviously our customers are already working on ways that they can get more efficient outside of our chipset. Yes. So I think with all of the, the evolution of uh, uh, the ability of our customers to innovate around the chipset and the new pixel architecture, you'll see some, some pretty groundbreaking type of products. It's really exciting future. stuff. You know? And obviously, uh, things are just going to keep on going. Mm -hmm. Maybe 10 years from now, we'll have yeah, definitely. And pixels. you'll hear you'll hear more about the new pixel architecture, I think, as the year goes on. Mm -hmm. As far as <coughs> so what kind of products of and what has happened. Actual miniaturization and everything. You guys are doing everything on your end to, you know, make things better, brighter, and consume less power. That's right. But we're seeing a sort of a roadblock in terms of you know the evolution of battery life. Battery technology itself hasn't really caught up, you know, with the rest of the industry. Mm -hmm. so, can you speak to that a little bit? Like, uh, are you expecting any sort of breakthroughs in battery technology in the near future so that we can get five, six, seven, eight hours? Uh, so we're working with all of our customers to make sure that the battery capabilities that they're getting is the best possible uh, technology that all of the, the, the key brands and the, the key manufacturers are using already today in tablets and cell phones, etc. Because we know they're going to be using the most advanced battery capabilities. Yes, they will, yeah. So we're working with them just to make sure that the, the batteries that we're using inside of projectors, inside of, inside of products that have Pico technology okay. inside, will have the best possible. Now whether we think there's going to be a breakthrough or not, I think that's up to those yeah. manufacturers and those, those customers to figure that out. Yeah. Well, I think that about wraps it up, Carlos. Thank you very so. much for your time again, sir. I really yeah, appreciate no it. Okay.